Hi, welcome back. I was going to say a Transformers review, but it's not. We're taking a look at uh, a He-Man figure. This is from the Masters of the Universe Origins line. And we're taking a look at uh, Teela today. So I do also have the vintage figure to compare against. Uh, this one's obviously seen better days. I haven't got all the accessories, but uh, you get the idea. <laughs> so... Uh, here she is first in the box there. Again, you've got uh, this great kind of vintage look to the packaging. Uh, mine, you know, got a few bends and stuff in it, but um, I'm not too bothered about that because I'm going to be opening up to take a look. On the back here, you get this great piece of artwork with Teela really kind of beating up Merman there. It just says that it comes with uh, this comic and it shows you some of the accessories that are included all the same sort of accessories that she came with originally uh, I think so as far as I can remember and then all the other figures in wave one so without further ado what we'll do is we'll open up the packaging and take a look at it and uh, do a bit of a comparison against the uh, vintage figure right here we are we've got Teela here out of the packaging and um, yes all nice there's a little bit of a thing there where it's just needs that needs clipping off so that I'm presuming be like an individual thing the shield is set in this kind of burgundy ready plastic and she can actually hold it as opposed to just having to slide it on her arm and if I can get it in her hand that is um, these hands are like a soft plastic, so you can kind of move them around a little bit. Yeah, she can hold it in her hand there, so that's quite nice. And then she can then hold the staff in this hand, so probably best to kind of clip it in and then kind of push it down like that. Uh, looks pretty good. The uh, her waist articulates, I think, all the way around. Um, you didn't get any forward and back. Uh, the arms lift up all the way up and rotate all the way around in the ball joint. And out to side, arms bend up to there. The arms swivel around and they do also bend in as well. So you can move that around. So I'll pop that off to one side. Uh, it's just as I've moved the hand around, it just kind of comes out there a little bit. Uh, paint is nice. It's kind of this almost like bronzy paint that they've used for the battle armor around here. Um, this bit does come off, so I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, the legs, they go up to there. Back to there. And all the way out to there, so you can do the splits. Um, yeah, and just kind of... When her legs come out, she's obviously got a bit of an indent there where they're kind of pulled close there. And then the legs go back out to there. You get a swivel here at the boot. So these are separate pieces which you can then pull off. And then the leg moves forward and back like that. And does it rotate around? Yeah, it does also rotate around. And then you've got peg holes down the bottom presumably to to plug her onto a stand of some sort um so you can do that is this leg lift up as well yeah that one this one's a little bit stiffer it just feels like there's a bit more resistance there so be careful as you as you move that around and just to show the two side by side oops uh this one's clearly seen better days but uh, you can see the one on the left here, the newer one, has definitely got a bit more of a, a meaner look. Whereas I suppose this one's got a very kind of girly, girly look about the actual action figure. And um, yeah, the other thing to note is on this one, they you'd had that for the hand, which you, you could then put the staff inside that. But then the this one here it would kind of slot over like that. Um, obviously you can use that 
for your vintage one as well but uh, with this one she actually holds it on her arms so you can swap out the hands as well if you want to that's quite a nice thing that you can do but obviously it means then she can hold the staff in her other hand if you want to um, this one is kind of broken here so this comes straight off obviously the articulation on these ones is very kind of limited the legs moving out um, you do get the waist articulation in there can I ping back on that one with this one it looks as if you just unpeg it from the back here like that Uh, this is kind of like a soft plastic, but there is, there is it still feels quite solid, but uh, it's real, a, a lot of detailing that's gone into the mould for this. Yeah, it's really quite impressive, and um, even just as it is, it looks really good. It would look even better if they were to add some paint to it. Uh, and look at her here. Even like this, I think she looks really good. Very cool looking action figure, and this is much more kind of how people might remember her in the kind of filmation cartoon. Uh, obviously, minus the staff here, she's got the kind of kind of head, not exactly a, um, a crown, but a sort of a headpiece on there, and all the detailing on her hair, which is done really nicely. The head can move up, down, rotate all the way around bits aside and um, some nice detailing on the face as well the eyes are painted and the lips and the eyebrows it's all really well done and this kind of goldish paint that is part of her costume and again this part here where it's kind of a flesh plastic and then the white bits that are painted just off white but it looks uh, pretty good actually and rotates around all okay um so yes a nice little upgrade they've chosen to go on with more of a matte colour rather than the kind of, I guess, traditional kind of gold finish. But yeah, pretty good. And uh, there she is alongside He Man. If I get to stand up properly. Let's get her in a bit of a, an action pose with her gear on as well. I think I'm probably going to have her with a kind of snake armour on. That just hooks over her head like that. And you just peg this bit into the back like so. Again, you just have to manipulate that bit around. I'm trying to get this one to stand. It doesn't stand quite as well as the others, I don't think, in my opinion. But uh, she does, does still stand quite well. And uh, there she is alongside He-Man, so you can see... He man's obviously, you know, a bit chunkier than her, so the scale works pretty well. And uh, yeah, I, nothing but praise for this line so far. They're really good fun. Uh, they're just, you know, some nice mix of modern and vintage in these figures with the extra articulation. I really do like it. And uh, yeah, next up, I think I'm probably going to take a look at uh, Man at Arms. So we'll uh, take a look at him, and uh, I think I had the leg a little bit wonky there, so that probably didn't help her articulation, uh, her stability. So even like that, she can stand up nicely. I think I just, where I'd moved the boot off to one side, she wasn't standing so well. But yeah, really good figure. Uh, like I said, next up, going to take a look at uh, Man at Arms. And then we'll take a look at some more of the bad guys, maybe... Uh, Evil in before we then take a look at people like Scareglow. Uh, who else have we got? I think we've got Trapjaw as well to look at. Yes, yeah, so we've got a whole load to look at still. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Hope you're enjoying these reviews. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Bye bye for now.